question is from Caffeine and Counseling. If someone is having a hard time losing body fat, how do they determine if it's due to a slow metabolism or just overeating? Okay, so first of all, if you are gaining weight uh, or not burning body fat, you are eating more than you're burning. So it's it's technically all overeating, okay? So let's get that out. Now, that being said, okay, can you change the the energy balance by speeding up your metabolism? In other words, can you get your body to burn more calories on its own uh, by doing, you know, by by uh, uh, using certain strategies to speed up your metabolism? Yes, you can. So, I want to be clear there because uh, you only gain body fat if you're eating more calories than you're burning. Now, if you're not burning very many calories, it doesn't take much to do that, but you're still eating more um, than you're burning. The strategies to getting your metabolism to speed up all include lifting weights, all of them. Now, there's there's other things you can do. Get good sleep. You can you know slowly increase your calories over time. That tends to speed up the metabolism a little bit. Um, but you lift weights always um, and because lifting weights tells the body to build muscle. It also sends a signal to the body, and this is something that I, I, we've never really talked too much about on the podcast. It actually tells your body to become less efficient with calories. Mm-hmm. Um, we see this, and it's interesting. When you look at studies, you find that the the body becomes less – in other words, it, it, it doesn't conserve calories quite as much. It burns more through heat because it doesn't need – it doesn't feel like it needs to. Resistance training tends to promote that. So when you look at somebody who gains a pound of muscle but they're burning – 500 more calories a day. One pound of muscle, you know, on its face yeah. isn't burning 500 more calories. But the signal that told the body to build that pound of muscle does tell the body to become less efficient with calories, which causes a faster metabolism. Well, wouldn't you first want to look at, you know, if you're overeating? I mean, yeah. that, that would just make the most sense before you go into like, well, I have a slow metabolism, like, and go in that direction, uh, just to really know very specifically, like, I've been tracking, I know what my maintenance is, I know that, you know, just by manipulating, like, this amount of calories up, you know, I could see how that affects my composition, and then, you know, sort of, like, go from there, and then see, okay, obviously, the weight training is going to have the best effect you know on your metabolism and you're going to go in that direction but at least assess that first well i mean like sal said if if you're if you're putting on body fat uh regardless if you are you your metabolism is slow you think it's slow or not slow you're you're overeating right so you're overeating for where your current metabolism is at and really nobody knows the answer to whether it's slow to you or not like if you find yourself eating very low calorie and still putting body fat on well then and you're not satisfied with the calories you're consuming and you would like to eat more well then sure it's slow for you it's slower than you would like it so work towards building it up but if you're putting body fat on just because you had a crazy day where you had 12 alcoholic drinks and swung by Taco Bell and had 20 tacos the, the, at the end of the night, and you put on some body fat afterwards because like you ate 6,000 calories. Don't blame it on your metabolism. Mm, right. Right. It's, not, it's not the metabolism's fault. But, I mean, you are the one that decides whether you think your metabolism is uh, slow or not. If you're putting body fat on, you're overeating, Whether regardless if that's 900 calories you're eating from that or it's – you know, six thousand calories. You, you you won't put body fat on unless you're over consuming yeah. them where, where the where your metabolic rate is. Now, now at. here's where the value of tracking comes in because uh, nine out of ten people that I've ever worked with underestimate their calories. Okay, almost every single time, somebody will say, "Oh, I'm eating around this much," or "I'm not eating too much." And then I have them track and be like, "Actually, uh, you're eating thirty five hundred calories a day on average." Uh, why? Because yeah, you had a couple low calorie days, but then Saturday and Sunday. You ate pizza and you went out and you did this and that. And when we add it all up, it averages out to quite a bit. So track, track your food, see how many calories you're actually consuming. You may be surprised. You may be shocked. You may think you have a, I can't tell you how many times I had clients tell me that slow metabolisms, but in reality, they just ate too much. They just ate a shitload of calories. I'm like, well, you're actually eating a lot more than you think. Right. 